Hi Water Signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you that are cross watching, welcome to your Tarot Messages. In today's reading, we're going to take a look and see what blessings and abundance are coming into your life next. So, what is it that you need to look forward to, okay? Possibly, what, what is it that's coming in for you um, that you possibly can't necessarily see right now due to the vantage point that you're in? So, We'll go ahead and see what the cards predict for you for the upcoming months, weeks perhaps. It is going to be a general reading. Please keep that in mind. If you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed below the video. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and let's begin. Okay, the bottom of the deck, you've got the Eight of Wands energy, which is an energy of things happening very quickly, things happening very unexpectedly. Um, there is a lot of movement in your energies here, Water Signs, a lot of forward momentum, a lot of progression, um, a lot of things, I was going to say changing, but the thing is, changes happen regardless of whether or not you take any action towards it right the seasons change the nights turn into change into days um you know weeks change into months so change happens you know regardless whether you actually take any action towards it but progression progression is different it it's things you know it's things progressing for you it's the action that you're taking and it's the universe responding to that specific action and it's progressing things forward and i think there's a lot of there's a lot of movement in your energies both physical and both spiritual i see a lot of travel in particular air travel so for those of you that are or you have been planning to do some traveling if you've been planning to do some traveling overseas if you've been planning to wow that was loud um, if you've been planning to maybe study abroad or live abroad, it's very likely that this is something that is um, going to come to fruition, something that's going to manifest for you. Um, by the same token, even if you haven't been necessarily making such plans, I do see that travel is predicted in the cards for you. Now, if you're not... Um, it could be that, for example, it could be something that you, you might not even be planning, but uh, there is travel related. So... It could be an opportunity, like a career opportunity or some sort of opportunity that you're trying to pursue. It feels like this is an international. So this is like on a global scale. So you might potentially have to travel to meet with some people to discuss furthering this opportunity for yourself. Okay, so whether whether you, you, you've planned for this or not, I do see travel happening for a lot of you. Um, the other thing is that I see, speaking of travel... It's very likely that if you are going to, especially if you're staying put for like a solid amount of time, it's very likely that you potentially will end up meeting someone overseas. Okay, and from that, um, from that meeting, it will there, it will result in a very sacred, very special union that is then going to lead to an engagement, a wedding, or a marriage for you. Okay, so you potentially could end up meeting the one or a soulmate on your travel or you could bump into them during your travels um, or otherwise I do feel like that this is someone you 
potent you could potentially meet a new romantic energy here in the very near future okay because you've got the eight of wands that crowns your reading this is things happening fast this is things you know happening without any setbacks without any delays um and you know why it's because your energy feels like you're in such alignment you're in alignment with your intentions you're in alignment with your desires your wants and your manifestations and the universe is responding to that energy you're in receptive mode you and the universe are communicating and you're on the same page here you're on the same pat, uh, chapter so you are in you're in this great energy um, you're in an alignment where you're suddenly lining up with your intentions you're suddenly lining up with your manifestations so for some of you the intention there is to travel to live or to study abroad i see that happening and i also see that happening possibly it could ha it, ha it will happen sooner than you've either planned or it'll happen very unexpectedly almost like maybe even some plans will have to be re rearranged so that it could happen sooner for one reason or another um, I also see you meeting your soulmate um, or the one that is destined and fated for you overseas. Or if you don't meet this person overseas, then I do feel like this is someone who was born overseas, who has lived overseas, um, maybe working overseas. There is something to do with travel, either this person being from um, coming from a different uh, country, cultural background or religious background to yours. This person speaking with an accent, which is very different to yours. They may have been born to parents overseas or they work for like uh, an international company. They do a lot of travel for their work. Um, they go it's like they go back and forth there's a lot of traveling or they like have a lot of international clients there's some there's a lot of travel involved in the energies here now this could also mean movement on the spiritual level okay you're going through a journey there have been some things that have been very uncomfortable for you guys um, whether this is in relation to love and romance, whether it's in relation to career or finance, um, or just personal endeavors uh, that you have got going on, family issues, there's been a lot of turbulent energy in you, um, water energies. You've sort of, you've sort of been paddling. You've sort of been swimming in some very emotional territories lately. Uh, but you're on this journey where you're moving. You're passing through, okay? And you have been passing through this turbulent seas for quite some time. But you're about to leave that turbulency behind. You're about to, much like the Six of Swords here, there's some sort of difficult situation that is ending for you, okay? So if you've been going through a divorce or a breakup, I see that being finalized and I see you finally being able to close that chapter. If you've been going through some sort of personal, um, if you've been p fighting some personal demons, I see you conquering those. If you've been going through some sort of hardships, financial um, or uh, career um, or anything like uh, any uh, personal relationships relating to family or friends here, I see those being resolved. So you're, you've... You've experienced some tumultuous situations as of lately, and you might still be experiencing, but let me tell you, where you're going, okay, what's ahead, it feels there's such a peace, there's such a calmness, there's such a tranquility for you, and you're ready for that, okay? Everything that you've been through, as uncomfortable and as painful as it may have been for you, it's transitioning you into the next chapter of your life. Um, and speaking about movement, you are at a point where you're transitioning, okay? And I guess this fits with why so many of you are planning to travel, or you're planning to start a new job or a new career or like a new relationship because you're ready for that, okay? Circling back to that whole alignment energy, you are ready for it and the universe knows this. And because the universe is so aware of your readiness, I feel like you were I was going to say born ready, but I feel like a lot of you have kind of stayed ready for this. And the universe is responding to this um, and is like opening up the doors to all of these new opportunities and possibilities that await for you. I'm also seeing that you're, this, you're ascending, okay? Your relationships are ascending. Your energy is ascending with the high priestess. There's a spiritual awakening. There are some very new and very exciting and very foreign emotions that are opening up for you water energies. Um, you might have never felt some of these emotions before. You might have never really felt this way about a certain person, about a certain situation, or about life in general. Some of these feelings have been 
inside of you but they've been dormant and fast asleep all of a sudden that's awakening and this is why you're so much more aware of who you are all the limitless possibilities that lie ahead for you okay so you've got some wonderful things to look forward to again you might not see it from this vantage point but if you can trust the cards and if you can trust the energies because you're a very intuitive sign you need to trust that intuition, okay? It's never going to let you down. I also see children, for those of you that have been trying to fall pregnant, or for those of you that have been uh, wanting children, you know, the Queen of Pentacles does usher this energy of fertility. So either yourself or someone very close uh, close to you is going to be this news of pregnancy or there's news of falling pregnant here. I'm also seeing that relationships personal relationships are also going to be strengthened so if there's been any conflict any family problems any um personal relationship issues i see that being resolved and worked through an engagement or a wedding is indicated in the cards i do feel like it's for you even if you've been married before in the past and if even if you're vowing to yourself you'll never marry again okay all right wait until this person comes along and changes your mind completely so I see wedding, I see engagement. If it's not if it's not yours, then it's definitely someone very close to you. So like your own children or a very close uh, a family member, very close friend. It's almost like their happiness is yours. That's why it feels like the energies feel so intertwined. Um, I'm also seeing for a lot of you, you've got this talent, you've got this gift, uh, cr this creativity, and you're opening this gift up, okay? Um, your the creative juices are flowing you're nurturing a talent or a gift of yours and i feel like you're about to share this it's something that you've been a little bit selfish in this regard because it's something you you know you've had this talent you know you've had this gift but for one reason or another you never really shared it with anyone or with the world i feel like you're about to share this gift with what feels like very well to me like a global platform so like the world Don't be with the Page of Swords energy here. Um, don't be resistant, okay? Um, you know, I know doubt can creep in from time to time, and that's only normal. Don't be so hard on yourself. But I think you really need to trust in yourself and trust in the energies for all the good things that are coming into your life. You've got a lot to look forward to. In moving forward, I also see you releasing certain uh, baggage from the past. You're releasing certain energies, certain emotions. And in doing so, that's going to propel and push you forward in life. So in part two of the reading, I forgot to mention that there is going to be an extension to this reading at the beginning. So um, I am going to follow on with the messages here. And we want to see more about what you're releasing and letting go, especially with the Six of Swords. So there's emotional baggage that you've been carrying around with you for quite some time and it's it's been burdening you it's been holding you back it's been weighing you down we're going to see what and how you're going to release it and just how it's going to impact your future in doing so so follow me to part two of the reading via the extension link below um, thank you guys for your time your energy your attention bye for now